Do you ever wonder where your Lego bricks come from? Before the box. Before the store. The Lego factory. It's time for a history lesson. ABS plastic. Acrylonitrile butadiene styrene. Lego has been made out of it since the 1950s. But where? Most of us are familiar with the home and birthplace of Lego, so let's start there. In the late 1940s, the first plastic injection molding machine, a Windsor SH, arrives at the original Lego factory in Billund, a small town in southern Denmark. By the start of the ABS era, in 1958, the company's Systemvay factory operates 40 injection molding machines with 15 more on order. In 1971, a new factory, the Hoymarksvay facility, is opened, and the Systemvay factory is slowly phased out. Hoymarksvay employs 721 people, over 18,000 meters squared, and runs 142 molding machines. An extension is added in the mid-70s, along with extra labor and round-the-clock shifts to meet demand for Lego bricks. In 1976, Lego opens the Clovermarken factory, a facility that sees multiple additions and extensions in the 80s, but is ultimately phased out as Lego begins expanding factories in other countries in the early teens. Back in the 80s, another bill and factory is constructed, Kornmarken. The 20,000 meter squared complex opens in 1988. Built in a modular style, the original four modules expand to 12 by 1992, with a total of 760 molding machines. An additional warehouse is added. Rugmarken, another modular factory, is built and operational by 1994. As with Clovermarken, however, the Rugmarken facility is eventually phased out of production in 2006. Around 1958, a mold manufacturing workshop opens in Germany. Through the early to mid-60s, the workshop grows and becomes its own company. Concurrently, a tool-making unit called Lego Form is established in Valier, Denmark. From 1959 until 1977, the toolmakers make the molds that make the bricks. Prototyping and mold manufacturing is also done in Bauer, Switzerland. From 1974 until 1990, with a second Swiss workshop in Au being added in 1985. A third mold making plant is added at Steinhausen in 1990 before LEGO eventually sells their mold production to outside entities. From the mid 1950s until the late 70s, LEGO licensed their product to an Icelandic company called Sibs due to the strict import laws on toys and other goods that were in place at the time. The import bans have long since been lifted, and Iceland no longer produces their own Lego bricks. However, they remain a substantial per capita consumer. In 1961, Lego enters into a licensing agreement with a company known then as Schwader Brothers, but later rebranded as Samsonite. The company is in charge of manufacturing bricks for the United States and Canada from their factory in Denver, Colorado, with Canadian production occurring in Stratford, Ontario. They use their own molding machines, but rent molds from LEGO's tooling factories in Europe. This agreement ends in the US in 1972, and LEGO establishes their own factory in the States. The Canadian contract continues until 1988. In 1973, LEGO reacquires their licensing rights from Samsonite and the company begins production in Connecticut. From 1975 to 2007, the North American production was based in Enfield before closing, moving packing activity to the Flextronics plant in Juarez, Mexico. More on Flextronics in a minute. Between 1985 and 2005, Lego bricks were molded in South Korea. First at a plant in Kunpo, then in the 90s, production shifts to Ichion. However, in 2005, the factory in Ichion is closed, and production is transferred back to Europe. The mid 80s also saw the company expand into Brazil with a molding factory based in Manaus that operated for 12 years. 
Economic factors are key to the creation of the plant, but LEGO decides that the Enfield facility in the United States can ultimately handle all production for North and South America. The turn of the century brings about the opening of the second of the concurrently operating molding sites in the world after the flagship Billund location in Kladno, Czechia. In 2006, production is outsourced to Flextronics at the Kladno site, but only for a couple of years, and LEGO regains control of the plant in 2008. Since 2001, the facility has been expanded multiple times, and besides the molding, processing, packing, and model building done there, have established R&D for packing and decoration technologies. Between 2006 and 2008, the LEGO Group maintained a partnership with Flextronics, a manufacturing company that produced bricks at several plants around the world, including in Hungary, the former LEGO plant in Kladno, and also a factory in Mexico. After this partnership ended, LEGO resumed control of these factories, and all three countries still house facilities that produce LEGO. So, as we've established, in 2006, the LEGO Group begins producing bricks in Juarez, Mexico via the Flextronics Partnership Program. But upon the ending of that partnership, a 100-machine Monterey plant is established. This site is intended to provide nearly 40% of the bricks for the North American market, and within two years, major expansion, including the construction of two new molding modules, increases the number of injection molding machines to 768. Recently, Monterey expanded once again, and a new molding building will open in 2024, increasing production by 50%. 2006 is also the year that LEGO expands into Hungary through the Flextronics Partnership. In 2008, they take over the existing factory, and by 2014, a new facility is inaugurated with molding, decorating, processing, and warehouse storage. This site too is expanded between 2015 and 2020. The most recent of the current crop of LEGO factories is opened in Jiaxing, China in 2015. They begin with 48 molding machines with plans to scale to 384 machines. LEGO have broken ground on a 44 hectare site in Vietnam's Binh Dong province near Ho Chi Minh City. The $1 billion project will create 4,000 jobs, become the sixth LEGO factory and second in Asia, and become LEGO's first carbon neutral factory. They will begin production in 2024. It was announced in 2022 that a new LEGO factory will be built in Chesterfield, Virginia. The 1.7 million square foot facility will sit on a 340 acre site. LEGO will invest 1 billion US dollars into the project over 10 years. This plant will be LEGO's seventh currently operating production facility. The factory is set to begin production in 2025. The current LEGO factory at Kornmarken in Billund is being expanded to become a campus of technology and production with tool shops, test facilities, new molding areas, and offices being added. The expansion is expected to open in 2025. So that is the, the past, present, and future of uh, the LEGO factories that produce Lego bricks in the world and also make the machines that make the bricks and I've had to skim over a few details just to kind of get a cohesive story and I'm sure I left out maybe a, a minor warehouse or or factory here and there, but uh, for the most part, I think I got it all nailed in. So uh, let me know if this is the kind of video that you like. You want more Lego history videos? Um, you know, I can I can probably probably make some more, and uh, you know, just leave a comment so I know that you like the video, and uh, you can subscribe. Also, that's a thing to do. 
And uh, I wanted to say that I did use lego.com quite a bit as a resource. So, you know, thanks Lego. And, uh, and thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Enjoy the builds.